Well, the Nocturnal House is a nighttime building. What we're, the theme here is that this was some significant archeological finds that they had built a building over to protect them. And then over time, nature has sort of taken them over again. So when you walk through, it's nighttime, it's dark in there. It's the, the lights are down as if it's a, a moonlit night, if you may. And so there's a couple of different species of bats. We've got a long 42 foot long bat flyway People get a chance to see these uh, Ceiba fruit bats flying back and forth. There's a variety of other smaller animals in there like dart frogs and uh, uh, cave roaches and tarantulas and, and then uh, probably the one that a lot of people are going to want to see is the vampire bats. <laughs> so we have vampire bats on exhibit in this building and also a smaller mammal called a ring-tailed cat which looks kind of like a uh, raccoon or related to raccoons, a striped tail and all. But uh, it is a nice collection of animals that you would see in the tropical forest in the nighttime. Yes, well, we were looking to have another uh, species on exhibit here just outside of the nocturnal house because So the alpacas represent one of the domesticated animals that you find in South America. So in total with what we're looking at here, this uh, bat house itself was over a million dollars, but the entire expansion was over three million dollars.